Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope this video find everybody doing well and good spirit and getting ready for the holidays. Okay guys, let me tell you what I'm going to be doing this morning for you. It's, it is a um, pineapple upside down pound cake. And uh, this is a cake that I love guys. I love fruity type cakes and desserts and stuff. I've been loving this ever since I was a little girl. I'll tell you more into it, but let me uh let me go ahead on guys and let me get into telling you what uh the ingredients gonna be and then some steps that I'm gonna uh go off the camera and mix up. I have already mixed up when by the time I go out the time I go off and get my mixture. So let me start telling you the ingredients. Okay, this is um three three cups of plain flour three cups of uh all-purpose flour plain is i got it in there yes three cups of all-purpose flour let me move this on out the way because i got to have room for my mixer and this is uh three cups of regular granulated sugar three cups of sugar guys and i hope y'all don't find a brand of sugar that's sweeter than the ones i'm trying to find one i usually use dominoes but it ain't what it used to be. Okay, guys, this is a half, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Mm -mm, I like to knock it off. And this is a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, guys, now if you use regular salt and don't use the kosher salt, use, uh, what did my mama say, use a teaspoon of just regular table salt or whatever, but if you use kosher salt, only use a half a teaspoon. Not because I think kosher, this, this is nothing scientific, this is just my experience. Uh, scotch, uh, kosher salt to me is a, a little stronger than just regular salt. Okay, and this is one cup of sour cream, guys. One cup of sour cream, whatever brand you want to use. Okay, guys, I have... Um, I have six large eggs and two sticks of butter and all of this is at room temperature guys make sure you have your eggs and butter and stuff at room temperature and I'm also going to be using a half a cup of Crisco a half a cup a half a cup a half a cup cup of a uh, Crisco shorten why that word didn't want to come out right okay guys and I'm gonna use um one teaspoon of this vanilla extract and one teaspoon of this here pineapple flavor. Pineapple flavor, guys. It's not an extract. So I'm going to be using that. Okay, let me tell you what else we're going to be using in, the, in this cake recipe. I'm going to have a give or take about a cup of uh, this is light brown sugar. And then I'm going to use some of these. Uh, Maraschino, and if I'm pronouncing that wrong, okay. Maraschino cherries, and then I have a can of uh, sliced pineapples, and it's in heavy syrup. I'm gonna pull the uh, I'm gonna pull the syrup off of this um, pineapple, and I'm going I'm going to reserve the syrup because I'm gonna use some of it in the cake, and then I make some little sauce to go on the top of this cake, guys. Once I turn it out of the pan and I'll show you how to make that up so some of the pineapple juice is going to be used for that and then uh, I'm, I'll be using a half a cup of uh, hold on guys a half a cup of brown sh sugar just hold on just one second guys something I forgot Okay, okay, guys. This uh, I forgot the butter. I forgot the other stick of butter because I'm gonna be in the uh, cake. I'm going to be using uh, half a stick of this a uh, better with the brown sugar that I'm gonna be putting in in the, in the pineapples in the cherry. I'll show you guys that step when I come back. And uh, but I just want to sh have you. Uh, let you see that up in the ingredients. And let me get my tube pan over here. Uh, 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna be I'm going to be baking this in a tube pan that I have uh, greased with uh, Crisco, and I floured. Now, if you want to use one of these cooking sprays, guys, go ahead. If you know all, you know anything about that, I have tried that, but it's just not a preference of mine. I do it the old-fashioned way, but that don't mean that the other way do not work, guys. Just understand that well. You probably can. But, you know, when you done grow up doing stuff for years a certain way, and then when you try something new and it just don't be spot on, you're going to always go back to what you're used to doing. Uh, okay, guys, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to get all this stuff out the way, and I'm going to get my uh, mixer out. And then, but when I come back on, I'm going to already... Ooh, my butter's about to melt. I mean, it's soft melt. I'm going to already have my butter, my sugar. Yeah, my butter. What I'm doing with sugar? Move behind you on the stove. Oh. Huh? On the stove. Oh. <laughs> I was like, did I get my sugar out? I thought I was losing it. I'm going to have my butter, my sugar, and maybe my eggs mixed up because i got the uh guys i have to kind of we don't do editing and i'm to keep from making the videos so long so to me the, my, my equipment only records for, for so long i have to kind of do some of this and stuff together but i i know i won't have the flour in there because i'm going to show you how i'm going to mix the flour and this here uh sour cream together but i have i have the uh the uh, bacon soda and that kosher salt, I have it mixed already in with my flour. And then uh, I will probably show you, but I won't do it because it's such a, you know, such a messy job, but I'll show you how I did. I'm going to take this uh, cup of brown sugar and I'm going to melt half of this butter. This is, I don't know what this on the pan got. Let me get out. I'm going to melt, melt, uh, melt probably half of this butter, and then I'm going to put this butter in my uh, my tube pan, and then sprinkle this brown sugar on top of it, and then layer these uh, pineapples and maraschino cherries on it. I'll show you how I have that did, guys, but I'm just going to tell you that to cut down with time, because when, when I come back, I'm going to get to mixing this cake up. Uh, simply because I want to show you how I incorporate the uh, uh, sour cream in with the uh, flour mixture. And then, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to reserve uh, the pineapple juice and I'm going to use half of it, uh, some of it in the cake and then some of it in this little sauce I'm going to make. Okay, guys, I'll be showing you as I get back on. And uh, let me go off and get my mixture and come back and mix this up and I'll, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I was going to show you how I got the uh, pineapples and the maraschino cherry and brown sugar. First, I melted my, I melted the butter, poured it in, then I sprinkled the brown sugar on top of it, and then I placed the pineapples. I had the pineapples cut in half, but you probably, I used to have to cut it in half because of the other pan that I used, but you probably can just put your pineapples in there, whole, lay them on top of that, and do the maraschino cherry. But I'm doing this in a new pan that I have. And that's the reason I, I just went ahead on and cut them because that's where I used to have to do it in my other pan. So I'm going to set this aside until we put the cake in on it, guys. What is that thing? Okay, guys, I've already, uh, this is my um, two sticks of butter, three cups of sugar, and that half a cup of shortening. And I've already started putting my eggs in there. So we're going to get these eggs put in there, guys. You need to tell me that one go in. You don't have to uh, beat just a few seconds once you get it in there. Once you put them in there. And that's the last eggs, guys. That was your six eggs. This one be in. Cut it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna scrape my bowl and go ahead on and put my uh, pineapple and uh, 
vanilla in there. Guys, I think I told you wrong with the vanilla. I used to put two teaspoons of the vanilla extract and then um, one teaspoon of the pineapple. And you talking about smell great? It smells absolutely good. Okay. That was my uh, extract and stuff that I put in there. Let me let this mix a minute and then we're going to start with our flour. My big silver spoon over there. Oh, I got another big one. What is that? Uh -uh. This is it. This one you had that first. <laughs> it didn't look that big. I told you that light was blind to me. Okay, guys. This, uh, It's not on my hand, very sticky. I just do my uh, flour in about two increments rather than the three. Now, if I had a hand mixer, I wouldn't put as much in at a time. And then I take maybe about half of the sour cream and mix it up like that. And then I pour just a little bit of this pineapple juice because I'm I want to save half of that for the uh, uh for the little sauce that I'm gonna put on at the end because uh, I don't put as much of that stuff in the bottom when it calls for. Tell you something, guys. You make it, I don't know, because I ain't the only one have a throat. Let me tell you a little history about this uh, uh, pineapple upside down pound cake. And I, I basically created this way of doing it myself simply because when I learned to uh, bake a pineapple upside down cake, and my mama did one back at, I said probably back in the 60s, uh, you did it in a cast iron skillet, and I loved it, that cake, and it seemed like it just always wasn't enough. And then later on, I found uh, my mama discovered a recipe where you could do it in a in a sheet pan, uh, what we used to call a a waiter. You could do it in a pan like that, and so that's the way I did it, and and it was just um. You know, you didn't have nothing to cover. I just always was saying, I wonder if that could be a, I used to think about doing a layer cake. And then uh, one day I said, I believe I'm gonna try to make this into, uh, you know, I could visualize it being made into a pound cake. And uh, so I did and I just thought about, but I was saying I knew I was gonna have, have to add more ingredients to it than what was originally in the, uh, um, the sheet pan and then the one we did in the skillet because it always calls for just like only a couple of a uh, couple of sticks of I mean a couple of cups of uh two cups of flour and maybe a stick of butter and a cup of sugar because you would do it in that little eight inch or ten inch um cast iron skillet. So then that's how I just really just created a uh you know a batter 
so I can make it in this pound cake pan. And I said, since y'all is my family and I love this, I'm going to try this on with y'all. I, and I usually don't do this cake but once a year because it's kind of, you know, it's kind of rich. But let me tell you something, guys. I'm going to um put the rest of this stuff in here and I just only wanted to show you guys this here. Uh, how I was adding the same flour and the uh, and the sour cream together. Because I don't think I'm going to need any more of the uh, I probably won't use that much of that any more of the, more of the pineapple juice because I don't want to get it too loose. And I'm purposely trying to hit it on that blade to knock the flour and stuff on down. Because I'm going to go off and uh, probably go ahead on and put it in the pan. But all you got to do is just, when you're putting it in the pan, well, I may come on and show you. I ain't good at pouring stuff in the can. That's really not most, I mean, in the pan. I always have to take such a long time. That's really not going to go off the camera. And do it. Hold on a minute, guys. Call from. Who's this one of them telemarketers? Just a telemarketer. But we were expecting a phone call. That's when I answered it. I was going to answer it. Okay, guys, let me get this here mixed up and then I'll come back and show you guys. It's just a simple, it's really simple. Just make sure you pour it in on top of that um uh, uh that sugar and stuff that you got in the in the bowl. But just in case, um uh, I have some, because I know everybody probably have made one of these cakes, but uh, you probably won't find a recipe that's exactly like I put on, because like I said, I created the way of uh, making a, making this batter to put on top of it. I didn't create no pineapple upside down cake, but I never did find a recipe for, back then, you know, we didn't have YouTube and, and uh, Food Network and nothing like that, and I never had seen one, what was did in the, uh, you know, with the, uh, uh, in a pound cake pan. So let me go off and get the, this him finish up, guys, and I'll come back and show you how to put it in the pan. And this cake is going to be baked on 325 degrees for 80 minutes, which is an hour and 20 minutes. And, you know, check it for doneness and stuff, and you may have to do it a little longer or whatever, I don't know, but Usually I do it for maybe about an hour and 20 minutes on 325 degrees. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, let me see. Can I get this in pan to show you what I'm doing and make sure I don't mess up the cake. Okay. The way I do mine is I just take it and put it on one side of it because you don't want to try to get the batter all up there and stuff. And I just pour it in. And it's going to run to the other side. Now it's easier when I do a layer cake simply because um, I use a, a cup. And I can measure it out more evenly. But I've been doing it like this for years. It'll be just fine. y'all can smell how good it smells. If you guys try this cake, you're going to truly love it. It's going to be one of your go-to cakes when you want something fancy but don't want to uh -oh. set that out the way. Then I just take my spatula and 
just kind of spread it around. Spread it. Don't spray it from the bottom. Just spray it around on the top. Guys. Then like that little there on that side. I get that out. Because it ain't going to do nothing to cook. Start browning to make me think the cake is burning. <laughs> okay. And that's all too. You guys can see what it looked like in the pan. I don't want to tilt it so much. Now I do to let my cake set five minutes before just kind of do it like this two or three times, four or five times. I usually let it sit five minutes and kind of settle down so the air bubbles and stuff can kind of be going out of it before I put it in the oven. So I'm getting ready to put it on in the oven now. That's all I can show you guys. And I'll come back when the cake is out of the oven and cooling and make up the sauce to put on top of it. Because I'm going to have to let the sauce, I mean cake cool down a little bit before I put my sauce on it. Okay, you guys, I'll be right back. Remember, 325 for uh, one hour and 20 minutes. Okay, guys, my cake is out the oven. And, uh, you know, I told you guys this was a new cake pan I was using. This, I've never baked it in this cake before. I mean, cake pan before. And I believe I'll go back to my old one because this rolls up a little higher. I mean, it, well, it just rides perfectly, perfect in my other one. This one was, I believe it's a little short or something. So I'm over here at the oven. That's what the cake looked like this, now, guys. But I'm going to turn it out and you will see what the bottom side looked like. And then I will, um, I'm going to go and I'm going to make the sauce up. And then I'm going to pour it on the um, other side. When you cut Okay, now let me tell you something. When I take this cake out, the, uh, the pan... I'm going to go ahead on and pour the sauce on top. That's all you got to do. Just worry about pouring on the top part if some run down the side. That's fine. But all I normally do is just be concentrating on what getting on the top part like a pineapple upside cake supposed to be. And uh, I got that half a stick of butter, you guys. I got that melting over here. And I'm going to go ahead on. Hmm. Some of my cake crumbs and stuff right there. Um, go ahead on and put that half a cup of light brown sugar and the remaining of that uh, pineapple juice off the pineapples. And guys, the way I do this is um, I let everything melt and it comes to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, I'll put my timer on and let it cook anywhere from maybe five to seven minutes and uh, let it kind of boil. And in respect of time, I'm not going to let you, let it stay on for that. I'm going to go off and uh, I'll come back and show you when it's unboiled. That'll just be five or seven minutes. Been minutes wasted. I'll let you. I'll come back when it's boiled, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I hope you can see that it has started to boil. This is a type of a rolling ball that I, a rapid ball that I want to want you to let it come to. And then I'm going to going to try to let it reduce some down. I got my timer already set on five minutes. And it's going to kind of thicken to like a sauce consistency. And that's when I, I will be putting it on the uh, cake. And it's going to kind of, it's going to soak into the top. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. This, uh, this, is a, this is a delicious way that I make this uh, pineapple upside down cake. That's the reason I told you guys, be kind of creative in the kitchen and, uh, and uh, come up with your own ideas. That's the reason I try to give you guys a basic way, basic measurements and all that stuff so you can have a ballpark figure as to how much you're supposed to use. Because don't, don't believe the hype that people didn't use measurements and all that, that kind of stuff and times and stuff. 
them old cooks, you might not have seen them doing it, but they had, when they started out, they had a general idea as to how long something going to take, or how long a meat it'll take this certain type of meat to cook, to be thoroughly cooked and broken down like it's supposed to. And I know with my mama, she taught, the way she taught was teach, taught us, she told us, like, put two cups of flour, three cups of flour, put two or three teeth. She had, I, I even got some of her uh, uh, measuring spoon. I hear people say that a lot, but that wasn't the case with me. And I can only speak on my uh, learning because I feel I had a lady to try to tell me something. And I was, and I'm talking about I was a seasoned, well experienced cook. How to put this in much and that that much and all that that don't that don't work for me. That I uh, mean, she almost drove me crazy. Almost gave me a heart attack. She was a good friend of mine. Ooh, she I like I mean, I, my head was about to bust. And I told her, I said, you won't ever have to worry about. It. She was teaching me how to do a caramel cake. Okay, uh, I'm still waiting on the timer with this guys, and I was just gonna chit chat with you for a minute to let you know this is one of the things that this cake and stuff. I basically know how much flour, how much sugar, how much everything that goes in the cake and I was just making just a plain cake and I came up with this here uh, pineapple upside down cake to uh, you know I put it in the pound the the, um, the tube pan because I didn't want because I had learned to do it in a, a, a skillet. It's probably all kind of recipes out there now where you can do it in the to pay and I'm figured I figured someone else probably had the same thought I had. Let's come out the skillet and in the sheet pan so we can have more. And I and I decided to do this many, 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 many years ago. So you know you can do your own batter and then just see how I put that on uh, that brown sugar and that butter and those pineapples and the cherries on the bottom of it and and since I could, I knew not to put too much in that this here too much in that um, a blunt bunk pan. I just figured like why not take that little uh, pineapple juice and some butter and brown sugar and melt it on the stove then pour it on top of it. I know you're saying that's 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 smart maybe. <laughs> but this is what on the batter because I was afraid that when I first tried I was afraid that that stuff may you know make the cake mess, to, mess up too much of that at the bottom of it. So well, guys, I think this is just about ready. Gary, do you see my silver spoon over there? Yes, ma'am, Miss May Man. <laughs> there you You're go. You're so silly. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just going to show what the little sauce is looking like. That's all, and it's going to soak into the bottom of that cake, guys. And as my friend Linda can say, not you, Linda Robinson, my other Linda. And boy, boy, <laughs> and I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut this off on that, and then uh, when I come back, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm. You just gonna, you gonna see why I have it on the top, but I'm not going through all of that to uh, put it on there because Tuck have to go to work, and uh, he's gonna have to take a thumbnail to, uh, to, to put up. I mean, to take a thumbnail picture. So uh, I just have it already did up when we come back. And just wait till it cools so I can cut you guys a slice of it. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, guys, I just thought I would show you show you how I run this in sauce on it. Just go around and soak this sauce up on there. You put as much as you want to on there. Like I said, I, I just did this sauce, came up with this sauce. And because I didn't put a whole cup of uh, brown sugar in the bottom of it like the recipe calls for. You could probably do that. But guys, okay, let me let it cool. It's still real hot. When it cools, I'll come back and I'll cut you guys a piece. Be right back. Okay, guys, this is the finished product of the upside down pound cake with my creation of the batter. And, um, uh, Guys, I'm going to go ahead on and end this video because there's nothing else I can tell you about it. Then I'm going to cut a slice and then I will be seeing you guys in my next video. So, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe, share me out. Make sure you got, guys, you hit that thumb. Uh, give me a, 
of thumbs up. What is scare a thumbs up? Mm, yes, thumbs and up. Share my video out and tell me, guys, have you a? I want you to leave me a comment as to whether or not you have a created your own cake. You went somewhere and got a cake and stuff like that, and just figured out, hey, I. I believe I can make that or you could just figure out what they did. I did several like that, guys. And I probably will be sharing some with you all. So like I said, and uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment saying that. And, uh, and uh, either do you like pineapple upside down cake. Okay, this is my favorite. So guys, let me cut you a slice and let's see what it looked like on the inside. This cake, I tell you, it's, it must be great because I used, uh, like I told you, that was the first time I used that uh, uh, the uh, butt cake pan and it it really didn't show out. It, it was like to be too small, but it wasn't. And guys, this cake is still warm and hot, but took me to uh, get me to wrap this video up so he can uh, get some sleep before he go to work. So, let me put this right here. Let's see what this cake looked like on the inside. It did not show that on me. And that's a big old hunk, guys. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Tuck love this cake. <laughs> yes, sir. And, uh, to my new guys, so a piece of that'll be going to work with me. To my new guys Tonight. and stuff, yeah. uh, be saying show Oops. my face. I don't be showing my face because we need to be concentrating on what we cooking. I mean, what I'm doing, but uh, maybe Tuck got my face in a little bit. But this is it, y'all. You guys, I don't lost my chair. What did my chair go to? Probably, probably when you <laughs> cut it. No, I thought it came up. It's on the plate, on the on the on the uh on the cake plate. Oh. Right on the front, see it? Right down the corner. Mm, right here. Yes, that it is. Right there, came right off it. Okay. Just sit it on the top. Uh, it it's goes right there. Up. Yeah, it goes right there. There you go. Okay, guys. So perfect slice of cake there. I'll see you guys in my next video. And remember, think positive and use your common sense. And they may love you guys. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye, you guys.